What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and we are back with a new video. Today, we're going to be going over a live streaming overhaul. If you haven't seen, I stream over at twitch.tv slash blindrod, uh, at least on Mondays and Tuesdays. I'm supposed to be streaming tonight, but we're going to be doing a bit of an overhaul that's going to include some helpful tips and tricks, I think, for you if you're a fellow streamer. So the first thing we're going to do is go over what I'm currently running, and then we'll hop into what I'm replacing and why. Okie dokie, so here is the current setup. And excuse the mess, but we're gonna be cleaning up some of that today. We actually are running a two PC setup. As you can see, we have one hanging on the wall that is the stream PC. And then we have this one over here. This is actually my test bench. So we're doing some testing right now on this Sapphire RX 590. The actual gaming rig I run is down here right now. And that is an 8700K with the RTX 2080 in it. And some really cool stuff there. Uh, you can check out the build on that on the channel. Um, the monitors we run is we have, this is my editing monitor. It's a 4K LG IPS. All of the links will be down in the description below. And if you're interested in any of these, be sure to go ahead and click that button for, of course, the uh, affiliate link because I'll get a kickback. So really nice monitor. It's good for the price and it is really good for color reproduction for me at least. Over here is the gaming monitor. I just picked this one up because my Asus died. So it's a Dell. It's 144 Hertz 1440p G-Sync monitor and I have been loving it. It has uh, pretty much everything you could want and they're both like mounted up with this this little uh, Desk mount back here fits two 27 inches, so they're both 27 inches right there. Pretty awesome. That's my Netgear Orbi. There's a review of that on the channel if you're interested. And yeah, I mean, I'm not super good with cable management right now because I keep replacing stuff. Once I get everything that I want, we'll go from there. Of course, we have the PS4 Pro, God of War Edition. We also have the Xbox One X, um, which is awesome. The Stream Deck which is not going anywhere. Let's see if we can get, yeah, there's the stream deck. We have this Gamdius mouse, which I believe there's a review of this and the accompanying keyboard on the channel. And then we have this one right here, which is the M65. I plug this into whatever I'm gaming on. I love it. The Corsair playmat that's getting super dirty now. And then the Rosewell keyboards. So both of these are Rosewell uh, RGB 80s. One's hooked up to the gaming rig, the other to the streaming rig. So, as far as the streaming peripherals go, we run the Audio-Technica AT2020 uh, that we have this little condom on for. You probably don't want more than that, that condom on there, to be honest. Um, any of the bigger ones, like the windproof ones, reduce, reduce so much volume that it makes it really hard to live stream from and amplify off of. And here is the Rode arm. I would highly recommend this for your mic if you're planning on moving it around. While there are cheaper solutions like the newer, the newer broke on me, so I wouldn't recommend it. And then we just have the cage here, the shock mount uh, for it. And then it just runs an XLR cable down to the back, actually through the middle here, and then hooks up to the focus right. So the focus right's what I've been using for audio We'll talk about that in a second. It's a great tool uh, early on for streamers if you want to pick one up. You also see the Gunnar glasses. Now, as far as video, what I've been doing currently is the C920 here, which is sufficient. And if you want to pick up an easy way to do this, definitely go check it out. But we'll be talking about that as well. Finally, we use this Elgato green screen, and there's my dirty white table that you guys have probably seen in plenty of videos before, but uh, it's just the Elgato green screen here. It's a super easy tool because, as you can see here, I kind of got my whole setup going with uh, the little home. It turns into a home theater, see? So, big TV, home theater, you got the sound bar mounted behind there, my uh, cables fell, broke, so... <laughs> probably fix that today as well. So the streaming PC is a GTX 1080 Ti for the Win 3 edition, a AMD Threadripper 1950X, 64 gigs of RAM, two Elgato cards in here. Look at that. So Elgato fanboys for sure, but 
So we have the Elgato HD 60 Pro, which you can use with a 1440p 144 hertz. And then we have the Elgato HD 60 Pro, which we'll talk about here in a second. It's also a little dusty when you clean it off, but it runs 24 seven and is amazing. It also has a whole bunch of VMs on it. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the current setup. That blue microphone's what I use on the road. We don't really necessarily use that at any other times. So we have box light one, box light two. They're bouncing off the wall right now to basically make it easier to not blow anything out while we go over everything. We might light this up a little bit. So this is the newer arm I was talking about and we did get another one, a non-broken one, but we're gonna be more stationary. So this is gonna be okay. We're gonna talk about why. We want to replace, and this was actually a test that I did with the camcorder, but we're going to be replacing the C920 for a Sony A6000 here. So let me get this all mounted up and we'll kind of go over everything. Okay, so I got a little bit better light. Of course, there is some glare, but it will get us what we need. So, like I said, the, the ultimate goal here is to replace the Sony a or the C920 webcam with a Sony A6000 because I've been using, of course, the camera recording on for the YouTube videos. Um, and the way we're going to do this is actually a little interesting. When I initially tried to do this, I tried to use the pass-through charging cable right here on the side, but the screen when the HDMI output would no longer output. Uh, from here it would just turn the input basically black and so you could only run off the battery power well Sony and some third parties actually make an AC adapter for this which is right here that replaces the battery so essentially if we want to use an A6000 we are going to replace this battery here uh, with an AC charge kit and I think this was just them making a way to make you spend more money which kind of sucks but it is what it is so in here you'll see we basically have a battery and an AC adapter and this little battery here actually goes into the camera and then there's a little cutaway so if you notice here there's a little cutaway that pops out uh, if I can get it there we go and like basically um, you stick the cable through here so the AC adapter once we have the plastic off yeah we do comes in here like this and then this is you put the cable in between this little out Audi here <laughs> and close it down then basically now you have an AC adapter because the battery only lasts about two hours. So if you're gonna do it without an AC adapter, you wouldn't make it very far into a live stream. And so this basically just hooks up to the adapter and then we plug it into the wall and we're good to go. Now, that it's not a battery, so it, it's not gonna work uh, without that being plugged into the wall anymore. Now we did get an HDMI cable to accompany it right here. And so this HDMI cable will plug into the HDMI mini out right there. So this will basically just plug in on the side of the A6000. And then there are basically two things we're gonna to need to do after this. We are going to need to uh, plug this into a capture card of some sort, or if you had an Elgato cam link, but we have the HD60 already. And so we're gonna plug this into our HD60 and then we have our game system going into the Elgato 4K. So that's pretty much the configuration of the A6000. And the last piece we needed to get other than the newer here was a little ball head. And this ball head will mount to the newer. So we'll take this ball head and this will be what we mount the camera to here. So we'll take this and mount this to the camera and then let's just get the newer opened up. We'll kind of throw the trash randomly around here. All right, so here is the stand. We are going to just get it prepped up. The, we'll, we'll want to take this end right here and mount the ball head onto it. And so that's good right there. 
and then we'll just take this and screw this onto the back of the desk, mount this, and then mount the camera on top of the ball head here. The last thing that we're going to be upgrading is the Scarlet Solo. Now, the Scarlet Solo has always been a go-to, but these Zenix USBs have been pretty uh, cheap lately, and they are full-on mixers. Now, I'm not fully sure how good this is going to be. Now, I did get to use one. Um, but, and I got it from Guitar Center, but it's going to give us basically a lot more flexibility with our audio. Now, while you can use the Scarlet Solo with like a virtual mixer, it causes some delays most of the time or some other issues. So for live streaming, it's not beneficial. So having a hard uh, analog option here is just going to be uh, what we're looking for. So this is going to be replacing the Scarlet Solo if all goes according to plan. So there's that. And then this was just for me for fun. I got a little MIDI Plus. I'll, I'll throw it down. This is apparently a pretty good one. Maybe we can do a separate review. Let me know in the comment section if you're interested. Okay, so at this point I'm just going to get to work. Okie dokie, so real quick on the A6000, a quick thing to make a note of is over here on the last tab on section 3, if you want to make sure this is in 1080p, make sure you select it for the HDMI resolution, and then come down here to HDMI info display and turn it off, otherwise it'll have all that annoying display stuff showing through on your HDMI. So there are the settings for the A6000 if you're going to be using it for streaming. Here's the mixer. It's a Behringer Zenix Q502 USB. We'll be checking out what we need to do to it here in a bit. Um, and we'll check settings at some other point. Um, up here though is the whole mount. So we put the ball mount right there as you can see. Looks pretty good. And uh, I actually, so when I'm gaming, I pull this monitor out to here. And the good thing is this will come forward. And then I did make sure the TV did have clearance with the camera off. It doesn't quite have clearance with the camera on to pull out. Um, but we'll, we'll be okay. We'll probably take this camera off. The great thing is, is it does have a kind of a quick disconnect from the AC. So it's not terrible. And so we're going to go ahead and start getting all of this configured. We will be back. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and welcome back to the stream overhaul. This is on the new setup completely. I haven't fully tweaked it yet. There are definitely things that we want to change, but we've made some huge strides in improvement. One of the things being, of course, the Sony A6000 that you are now watching this live stream on, or at least the excerpt of this live stream. And then of course the microphone is now, the AT2020 is now plugged into the Behringer 502 USB. Now a note on the Behringer 502 USB, it is quite noisy. Um, it wasn't near as noisy on my Scarlet. And I did unplug the XLR cable from both ends and listen to the device input and it had all the noise uh, without the cable. So it's not a, a shielding issue with the cable. As far as I can tell, it's a shielding issue with the mixer itself. However, it still does allow for what I would consider quite a bit better audio overall. And so I like it from that aspect. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, leave a like, comment down below. I will also have in the description a link to all of the parts for this particular video. 
as far as like my whole stream goes, we're going to be probably maybe moving camera perspective, et cetera, later on. But for now, I think we are good to go. I'll see you next Tuesday.